Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, I want to introduce you to the build patch tool. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So from time to time, we run into minor issues with build a -Pie that can create real annoyances for us, but it really doesn't justify a full-blown new release of build a -Pie. You know, if it's a bigger issue, well, then we're going to go ahead and push out a new release and try to resolve that issue. But some of these little minor ones we could fix with a simple patch. And that's exactly what I've developed for build a -Pie, is the patch tool. Let's take a look at a couple of recent examples where the patch tool could come in useful for resolving those issues. And then I'll go ahead and walk you guys through the new patch tool itself. So what you're looking at here is a post that I made on the FL Digi forum. I was having a problem with FL Message 4.0.19 installing, and it turned out that it was an issue with FL Message itself, but it was fairly easy to correct. The only thing we needed to do is we needed to build that uh, without FLX MLRPC. And as long as we compiled it without that, then it would install perfect. So this is one of those uh, use cases where a patch could have taken care of this for us. Now, another example is something that just came out last week. And this one is a bit of a bigger deal because... Uh, if you're trying to build a new system, uh, Hamlib is going to try to install 4.3 or version 4.3. The trouble is with Hamlib 4.3, we are missing a dependency on the Raspberry Pi. And the trouble with that is the dependency that we need is currently not even available for the Raspberry Pi. I do expect that to be coming out fairly soon to the Raspberry Pi, but as of the recording date of this video, it isn't there. So we have a couple of options if you're building a brand new Pi. Now, if you're trying to install this on a Pi that already had Hamlib 4.2, you're going to run into a failure uh, for Hamlib 4.3, but it will not erase 4.2 from your system. So this really only applies to operators that are building a brand new build a pie system. So we can fix that in a couple of different ways. First, you could open the terminal and you could run all of these individual commands and get Hamlib 4.2 installed. However, a lot of people just aren't that comfortable on the command line. So the patch tool makes it super quick and easy to literally click a couple of buttons and have all of these commands run for you. So let's go ahead and jump over to the Raspberry Pi and we'll take a look at the new patch tool. So from the main Pi window, I'm going to come down to Ham Radio and then Build a Pi and I'm going to use the Update tool. The Update tool is going to take a look and see if there are any patches available for us right now. And if there are patches available, you're going to get this dialog box here. Now you'll see a link right here in the middle of the dialog box. Let's go ahead and click on that and that's going to open up the browser and take us to a page where we can read through the description of each of these patches. So I'll just go ahead and kind of scroll down and as of right this second, there are four patches available. Two of them are test patches. One of them is an FL message patch. And the other one is the Hamlib 4.2 patch. And you can read through the description of exactly what's going on with each of those patches. Often I will link to the original issue that created a need for the patch to begin with. So you'll see that right here in Hamlib uh, 4.2, the description of it, uh, that you can click right here and it would go ahead and take you to, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. It will take you over to the 
original issue and kind of walk you through what's going on and tell you uh, basically why we needed it to apply this patch to begin with. So let's go ahead and close out of that browser. And now that we know what those patches are and a description of each of those, we do want to apply some of those. So I'm going to click yes here. You'll be presented with a list of patches that are currently available. Now, I've already applied the Hamlib 4.2 patch to this particular system, but I'm going to go ahead and try to apply it a second time. So I'm going to highlight Hamlib 4.2 and click Apply Patch. When I do that, because I've already applied it to the system, I'm going to get a dialog box that tells me it's already been applied and that there is no need to apply it again. So I'll simply click close here and that'll take me back to the patch list. Let's try this test patch here. Now the only thing this is going to do, and I'm going to move this up so we can kind of see them both uh, at the same time. So let me get that there and let's bring back the patch tool. Now the only thing this particular patch does is it echoes out in the terminal window. You'll see it pop up right over here that this is a test patch. So let's go ahead and click apply the patch. It did what it was supposed to do. It echoed out to the terminal that this is a test patch and we get the dialog box that the test patch has been applied. So once we know that it's been applied, we can just click close. Now, depending on what the patch is doing, some of these patches can take a few minutes to run. So Hamlib 4.2 is recompiling uh, that software on your Raspberry Pi. So that took uh, 15 or 20 minutes, I think. The same thing with FL Message. So it depends on what the patch is and what it's doing as to how long it's going to take to run. I'm going to do my best to give you a rough time frame uh, over in the description of each patch. Now, we already applied this test patch here, so if we try to apply that one again, you'll see that we get that same warning that the test, the test patch was applied previously and there's no need to apply it again. So I'll go ahead and click close here. Now, once you're done and you've got the patches applied that you want to your system, you'll just simply hit exit. And it's going to go through a little bit of a loop right here and bring you back to the first dialog box. The reason it's doing this is I haven't applied all of the patches to my system. So it will continue to give me an opportunity to apply those patches in the future if I want to. If there's no patches currently available or you have applied all of the currently available ones to your Raspberry Pi, it should bypass this screen. But if it does come back into this loop the next time around, you simply click no and you will be presented with the familiar build a Pi update tool. So hopefully going forward, this is going to give me an easy way to get these little updates out uh, without requiring a full-blown new release of build a -Pi. And then as things go on, if this is not a temporary issue like Hamlib 4.3, I expect that just to be a temporary issue. But if it's not a temporary issue, we will come up with a fix that we can apply in a future version of build a -Pi. So thanks for tuning in today. I hope the patch tool is going to make your life a bit easier as well. We will see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.